Hey guys, what is up? I am Double Driven. Today's uh, video, going over some more of the um, card reveals, picking up where we left off with the uh, the cool Cat Witcher, uh, Gilbert Blenheim. I think that's how you say it. Uh, five strength, seven provisions, profit three, fee one, poison an allied unit, and boost it by two. Cooldown one, so it's the poison version of Kalkstein. Um, this card's probably going to see play uh, depending on how the poison archetype works. Um, one way, too, you could look at it is, is that maybe it's a spender for um, Fire Swarm, you know, being able to boost. They, they kind of don't have spenders. They don't really need them, though, but... Um, it all depends on how that poison archetype is going to be and that landscape that they get, whether or not it's the payoff for the poison archetype. Um, I think it'll get held in check. There's uh, If ST gets... If it gets too strong, ST will just start uh, putting in uh, poison. So We'll have to wait and see. Super cool card, though. I mean, even if you boost a 2 to... Four. I mean, if your opponent wants to poison that, you know, Merry Christmas, I guess. Uh, next one. Uh, this one was revealed, too. I like Dylan who revealed it. Uh, this one was revealed by Tavern Arivia, um, one of the mods. Uh, next one. Uh, this one, I will say, um, Exonus. Um, this was the coolest reveal by far. Um he did like a David Copperfield like magic trick with it. 15 out of 10. Awesome job, dude. I absolutely loved it. Um, the card, not so much, but this, uh, the video for that was primo, man. Awesome. I love magic. I absolutely love magic. So I was a huge fan. Uh, but this Salamandra Lackey, it's four for four. Uh, at the end of your turn, um, if you gain at least one coin, boost it by boost it by one um it's not very good um there's better things to play even with the salamandra tag you're just not going to play this uh next one hey my card if you haven't watched the video on mine uh, go check it out um one thing i didn't mention in mine because i wasn't sure of was the letho combo with kingslayer um if you do um, copy them. They both will go into the graveyard. They won't consume each other. They'll both come out for 12 carryover. Um, I will put this card in no matter what is a one of. I think it's it's pretty epic. Um, it, I, I think it's like the best way to look at it is like a sh like the carryover play or you know, you know like there's times where you put like Shillard but granted Shillard's get in an aristocrat, aristocrat tag um it all depends on what the payoff's going to be on the landscape cards that they're going to show during masters um if they synergize with banishment um this card might you know get dropped in uh maybe it's something to do with beast too who knows um i think it's gonna have something to do with banish but uh i'll be I'll, day one i'll you can guarantee i'll have a deck for nov card and uh this guy will be in there for sure. So, uh, next one, uh, Crozier. Uh, this card's bananas. Uh, it's one strength, nine provisions. Salamander. This little last thing. <laughs> uh, Beast Salamander. Profit one. Deploy poison. <laughs> poison a unit. Tribute nine. Poison all units on the battlefield instead. Increase the profit by one for every Salam Salamander unit. Um, so if you have Tribute 9, what you could do... The combo wombo of this is is playing uh, Sayana, then Louisa, and then this, and having 9 coins, and you can wipe everything out on the board that doesn't have Veil. Um, that's a lot. It's going to happen here and there, but... It's not going to happen as much. I think once you see all these Salamanders, the minute you see Louisa, you're going to want to drop uh, 
you're going to want to drop that, that chick real quick because you do not want your whole board to get wiped. Super cool card. Um, it still might see play, but the combo wombo, maybe it's not so much. Uh, Flake's card, watch Flake. If you, have, if you don't follow Flake on Twitter or Twitch, uh, definitely check him out. Um, he's been doing a hell of a job too, man, climbing. Um, v, I think this is how you say it. Um, eight strength, 12 provisions. Uh, Death Wish, shovel V back into your deck. Then increase its base power by three. Now, I have a question on this card because um, I didn't research it as much. I know it's the old Siri Dash, but if you don't kill it, does it just go straight in, in the graveyard? Like, say, for some reason you have to play this to catch up and it just goes into the graveyard, it doesn't go back into your deck. I think you have to consume it or kill it. I mean, also, too, this card might uh, give Cyclops some uh, serious power. I mean, being able to drop an 8 and then uh, chucking an 8 across the board for carryover might be pretty good. So Cyclops might see some play and uh, some decent removal for monsters as well. So, awesome card. I think you build totally around it, though. So if you answer this card, it's kind of like Kelly, where... If you kill this, your opponent's probably going to have a really hard time winning. Um, it's definitely going to see play, though, because it's monsters. Uh, next one was revealed by Duello. Um, so, here's my, my thought on these cards. These neutral witchers, like Leo and Behringer and stuff. Um... I think if the landscape cards have huge Witcher payouts, like, you know, where the third card you play, if it is a scenario type thing, um, I think that's the only way these cards see play. He's kind of like a uh, Madman Lugos, four strength, seven provisions, deploy boost self, buy one for every Witcher you control. Um, I think if you're going to play this, you're going to play this with either Skellige or um, Northern Realms because they have a way to make a bunch of Witchers. Um, it might be alright. Um, but like I said, I think it's all going to depend on those uh, landscape cards they're going to reveal at Masters. Uh, next one. Uh, the Chimera. I love Chimeras. I actually have a tattoo of a Chimera. I didn't get a very good image either because they revealed this on a... Uh, um, what's it called? A uh, video explainer for uh, Adrenaline. So if you have, if you don't know what the uh, Adrenaline mechanic is, go to the uh, Plaguewent uh, YouTube and they have a video explaining adre Adrenaline. Um, so it's 5 for 5. This card's actually really good. Uh, deploy... Consume an allied unit, Adrenaline 3, uh, Adrenaline 4, boost all copies of consumed unit in that row by 1. You're probably going to use this with the Araka drones, that's what they use in the video. Um, so you eat a drone and all the other drones on the row get boosted by 1. Um, it's probably going to coincide with the uh, card that Ocean Mud revealed. Um, to where you, you're spawning a bunch of drones. Um, so it will see play, I think. Next one. This one was revealed by Asa Plays. Uh, the one armed Witcher here. Uh, four for five, one armor, Bear Witcher, Quartermaster, order damage an allied unit by one, then spawn a Witcher student on this row. Two charges. So if you get uh, you get this in arena with an adept, it's going to be pretty fun. Um, <clears throat> not sure sure how you would get more charges, but you could use this on uh, the Draco Turtle. Uh, ping the Draco Turtle, get a Witcher student, which is two, two times, and you ping the thing twice, so it gains two. It's it's a pretty nice little combo. Um, 
it all it's all like I said it's all going to depend on the uh, payoff of having all these little Witcher students how big your school is <laughs> uh, cool card though uh, the Skellig always gets good bronzes uh, next one I didn't get a very good image of this one either oh, I guess it's not too bad <clears throat> Keldar uh, someone mentioned too that uh, this is a, a triptych art with Cohen we're missing the last part of it we'll have to wait and see uh, four strength one armor nine provisions uh, resupply spawn a witcher student on this row adrenaline four at the end of your turn, spawn a Witcher student on this row. It's a frigate with Witchers, and it's nine provisions. It's super high costed. Um, if this was maybe like a six, it might be okay. But this dies to a rebuke. You just spent nine provisions on a card that's going to die to rebuke. That really is only going to give you six points off the bat, anyways. Um, this this card's bad. I think. Um, granted, you could shield it with shield wall, but I think shield wall is going to get a nerf. I think it's only going to have two charges. We'll see. But, yeah, this one, the strength just doesn't hang. Uh, next one was revealed. Oh. Next one was revealed by uh, Sir Pumpkin. Now, this card's wicked. I'm not going to lie. This card is sweet uh it's the saber tooth tiger seven strength nine provisions zeal order transform self into saber tooth tiger stealth so from what i understand the card the card goes stealth mode during your opponent's turn so they need artifact removal to remove it um because here's the other version of it um, and as you notice it's an artifact with no strength during your opponent's turn um, but what it does is at the start of your turn, damage all units, all enemy units that are alone on their row by two and transform self into Sabertooth Tiger. Um, so if there's no units on the row, it stays stealth? I'm, I'm unclear on this one. They did, I didn't really, uh check up on this card that much I've been working like crazy <laughs> uh, but that's the way I'm reading it says at the start of your turn damage all enemy units that are alone on this row by two and transform self into saber tooth tiger so if it doesn't do damage it stays self if it does that's pretty sweet um, magni division is no longer going to be played because of this card <laughs> it dies in two turns it's just dead um Nilfgaard's going to need more more proactivity because Magni ain't going to cut it with this boy because this this is going to get played. It's I think it's it's crazy. I mean, you move a card back to a row by itself, it just needs to hit two times, and it did its... It, it only has to hit once to do the nine, and then if you got cards that can move, it's just going to keep pinging for two. I think it's nuts. I think it's a really good card. It's like It's like a... It's like a Helge meets the Predator. <laughs> it's it's nuts, man. I think it's really good. Some people say it's not good. I think it's going to be all over the place. And the last one. Uh, this card, I'm really unsure of, but I think it's the actual definition of the Elder Bear. <laughs> um, it's the Dire Bear. This art is stupid good, though. Um... 8 strength, 9 provisions, dire bear. Units on the opposite row can't be boosted. So if you go with, if you think you're going to go with, uh, what's it called, uh, Visigoda and all that, <laughs> you better start stacking melee then, because uh, not allowed, sir. Um, and then I guess if you stack, if they can't kill this, and you stack on melee, you run a Yurden, and boy, do they just <laughs> insta be pissed. <laughs> um, I don't know. I think it's like, uh, it, it's going to kill Cohen, too. If you play this and then Cohen can't 
do his thing, you're going to be super sad. I mean, he might boost some of the stuff on the other row, but if you, you're going to play him on the row with all the twos or ones or whatever, and uh, it's not going to do anything, so I don't know. I, I, I think this expansion is going to be sweet, man. A couple of people are disappointed because the cards are like, they're just not like the consistent five, six, you know, five for six and, you know, or four for eight and all that other crazy stuff. So I don't know. I think uh, if you're going to go the consistent route, you're going to pick, you're going to pick and choose the um, current cards, which might even see nerf. You, you don't even know about that. There, there's going to be a patch uh, with this expansion, so who knows what's going to uh, happen to the current decks. But I, I, I'm excited for this expansion, man. I, I'm I'm hopefully optimistic for Nilfgaard, but it, right now it's just all over the place with Nilfgaard. Like, you got Banish, you got Random Boost, you got... I don't, I don't know. It's it's really weird, but I get like I said. I think it's all going to depend on that that landscape card if there's scenarios, and if they are, what the payoff is. The payoff's huge. Heat wave's going to stick around. Um, shoot might even see play just for the extra artifact removal if it, if they do. But uh, that's the video for today, guys. Thank you guys so much for everything, and uh, thank you, thank you for watching the the uh reveal video man it uh it blew up it blew up for sure for me that's a lot of views so much love for that man thank you um but uh, i'll try to get something out this weekend i might uh <clears throat> i might stream on twitch sunday we'll see but uh it depends on how i feel you can tell i'm already a little stuffed up man i'm like uh but if we're feeling good We'll uh, jam some games. I got to get three wins for pro rank. I've been uh, slacking on the game. I've mostly just been researching the new cards, getting ready for uh, um, the season of the wild hunt seasonal list. I'm already concocting it, so get ready. But thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.